ADA on the daily looking kind of crazy. This is going to be an exciting technical analysis for Cardano in this video. You see this blue line, Cardano approaching the Bitcoin having and ADA right below this lower trend line. This structure has been in formation for months. This is months worth, worth of structure that we've been tracking, especially as it applies to the macro and the macro story of Cardano cycles. Right now, ADA just hovering below this lower trend line. A little scary looking. Excited to break it down in this video. Before we do, I want to go over some Cardano ecosystem things and talk about some, I think, important things happening with Cardano right now, making me very bullish, per usual. Hit the subscribe, hit the like. Let's jump into the video. Here's the deal. I saw this post. I was just tagged in it a little bit ago. He said, anyone else feel a buzz around Cardano ADA? And I like this, I like this post because it's exactly how I feel. There's a buzz. And the reason I say that is if you actually go to a weekly zoomed out chart, it's, it's just that underdog vibe. And this is one of the things that attracts me to Cardano. It's the underdog vibe. And it was a similar vibe all the way back here, you know, before Cardano actually did make a really nice bull run. It's, it's the fact that Cardano is very much an underdog in this environment in which it's delivering so much. And there is a lot on the horizon right now for Cardano. It's partly what I want to talk about in this video, and then we'll hop into the charts. So here's one post. I just saw this. Just a couple different things happening within Cardano. Cardano ADA can only process one transaction per block, they said, because this is a criticism of Cardano. Here I am sending almost 1,000 transactions in 30 seconds. Check this out. He's giving demonstration of this. So this is very much in line with the topic of scaling. Cardano, can it scale? Can it become quicker? Can it process more transactions? Let's go. Like, let's, let's onboard tons of users and get this thing going. That's one angle of it. And then we have this other post. I like this other post. Bro, how are we as a community not running with the layer one zero knowledge proofs on Cardano narrative? As per Phil, it seems a no-brainer. Phil is the CEO and founder of Anastasia Labs. Been talking a lot about scalability solutions Seems a no-brainer. It's around the corner that will bring huge scaling in the short term. So here's the thing. This is just another angle of scaling. And my point here that I'm trying to make is, I think we are going to start seeing a lot of this. Scaling chatter. And not only that, deliverables. I think Cardano is going to actually scale. I, I think we've been waiting for it so long. But now that we are really getting close to this, this era where, where it's happening, I think it's going to start happening. And then I'm excited... One thing I'm excited about with Cardano is the narrative of it and seeing this play out in the headlines. Because right now, Cardano has the decentralization factor. It sets itself apart, very much so. It has a security factor. It sets itself apart, very much so, because of the architecture of Cardano. Now, we bring into play that security, the scalability factor. Now we're talking about real combination solutions to the trilemma. And this is very bullish for a blue chip crypto. And Cardano has that. And I think, I think that narrative is getting very close in terms of ADA, Cardano, scaling. And I'm excited because it's very good timing for Cardano right now. Going over here, I just saw this Dapp, Dapp Central, Farid over here, was playing a clip of Frederick from Cardano Foundation. Check this out. Additional voting system. What we've seen is that we've been approached from uh, sort of a couple of states in the U.S. who say... You all might have heard this, right? Cardano Foundation approached by a couple of states in the U.S. Just think about that. Let that sink in. I realize it's not meme coin, crazy meme coin volume headline type of deal. But U.S. states reaching out to Cardano. Saying, hey, can you help us to do a, a, a lightweight blockchain solution to make it more transparent and accountable in how we are voting? I still sort of have to sort of look at if we can actually make this happen in the, in the time frame that they're, they're looking at. Frederick, make it happen, please. <laughs> I mean, I realize it is a short time frame, November, but that, that's an incredible opportunity, right? And I'm so curious who the states were. I'm so curious, obviously, lightweight solution. But I'm very curious about like the details there. But U.S. states reaching out to Cardano. And obviously, this was last month. This isn't new. But just a little, a nice combo. Dubai police will use Cardano. These headlines, they're not nothing. These are, these are big things. 
in terms of a crypto, a blockchain being used in, in the real world. And, and we're really talking about for serious things, right? U.S. voting systems, Dubai police using it uh, for, for their own internal systems and criminal investigations. These are big things that are happening. And then you, you sprinkle in there scalability that's, that's happening before us. And I think we're going to start really seeing some nice headlines in regards to that. Cardano is, is right on track. Uh, and, and I like the timing of it for where we are in the cycles. Now, I want to bring this up. I know, I think this annoys a lot of people. There was this, uh, there's this voting happening, right? For layer one solution of the year, Blockchain Life Awards 2024. There's this big poll happening right now for that. Here's best layer one solution. You can see there's Cardano right now, number two behind Multiverse X. Now, here's the deal. There's a lot of controversy because a lot of people are just tired of polls, number one. But then also because it's like, is this an uphill battle for too much of an uphill battle for Cardano? I saw uh, this post over here. This was Charles talking about it. People getting hyped up about the poll. And he said it was engineered to produce an outcome prior to a single vote being cast. And the comments below kind of demonstrate and talk about, you know, Ada Whale, for instance, they're basically buying votes and you have drip drops posted this uh, this page, Vote for Multiverse X on Blockchain Life Awards, and you can see, literally, uh, you can vote. And after voting, post a screenshot, proof below, as a submission quali to qualify for a reward. So this is very much incentivized for, for people to go vote for Multiverse X. So that's, that's a pretty tough battle for any blockchain, right? Cardano has such a massive community. I wanted to do this just because I'm just curious. Cardano, commu Cardano community is massive. We have 3,300 votes, a little over 3,300 votes here. And I'm, I don't sit here ever and ask you all to do work. I never ask you to go out and do anything really. But in this video right now, if you're watching this moment of the video, probably tens of thousands of views on this video, we have, I think, over 20,000 delegators in our CCV pools. That takes a lot of work, a lot more work than this, I should say, to go delegate. This is literally to vote like you, you just click to vote and I'm going to put the link below. Go vote is what I'm saying. Click the link below. It's going to ask you to hook up your telegram and your vote. It's, it takes seconds. Go do it. We have over 20,000 CCV delegators. And right now this poll there we're behind like four or 400 or so. That is nothing. So again, I, I realize it's an uphill battle. It's a very good possibility. Cardano will lose this. But I had to at least put a little effort into saying, you know what, everybody, go vote for this. This is, I'm a competitive person. And, and, and when it comes to things like this, there's a curiosity to it for me as well. I'm very curious to see how close Cardano community can get to winning a, a, a poll like this one. Because we see polls all the time. And, and Cardano is always winning, it seems. But this will be a very interesting one because in this case, it does seem like they are incentivized. So how, how close can Cardano community get to, to winning that poll? So I'll, I'll be curious to see. Let's jump into charts. This is what we're going to be diving into. And before we do, I, I do want to just make a, a, a note of the macro picture here. And I talked about this on a space earlier today. Again, it's not even Bitcoin having yet, right? So to give you a sense, right now from all-time high, ADA is down around 80%. If we look at last cycle from all-time high, right before having, maybe let's just say a couple weeks before having, 96%, ADA was still down. So if you want to get a, a, an answer as to, well, what do you mean Cardano and crypto holders in general? Because this is a, a picture of a lot of cryptos. How are, how are we spoiled? There's a picture of it. Right now, last cycle before having at this moment, Cardano is still down 96%. And I realized there was COVID, right? I don't know exactly where we'd be if COVID didn't happen, right? Maybe we would be 90%. But either way, you drag this out and we take it to our very similar type of technical analysis structure post having last cycle. Cardano at this moment, when Bitcoin was breaking all-time highs, Right around here in this week, December, mid-December 2020, Cardano was down around 88%. So even then, months after the last Bitcoin halving, Cardano is still down less than that. And then another 
just perspective I want to share with you. Right now, ADA from October, when, when crypto has kind of really started t- taking off, right? From October, ADA is down or ADA is up around 147, 150%. Just for context, if we go to Ethereum from October, when things started taking off, Ethereum is up around 115%. So this, this notion, this narrative that Cardano is just terrible, it's left out of the entire bull, bull market, which I don't even think really the altcoin bull season is here yet, but that narrative that Cardano just left out, it's just not, it's just wrong. There are outliers, there are others like Solana that have been absolutely going crazy in terms of percentage gains. That just is what it is. That type of stuff is going to happen. But when it comes to Cardano, I truly do think it's, it's on pace. What happens next? It's very much up in the air. There are some things that kind of get me nervous. One of those things, I, I want to mention this because this, this was just breaking today. Ukraine will become a member of NATO. The reason why it's a big deal is if you kind of scroll through these posts, you can see uh, Russia, basically, if Ukraine joins NATO, NATO, that is war. That's generally the thought. That's generally the sentiment. Under Article 5, this means that an attack on Ukraine will be considered an attack on the United States. These types of things happening are, they're so sad. They're so sad. First off, the fact that our world is the way it is right now, it's very sad to watch. But when these things start playing out, we're tracking price, we're tracking charts, we're tracking you know, speculative cycles. Though these serious issues like war breaking out, World War III or something, It could have a very big effect on these charts. So I just want to say, I have to keep that in mind. So here we are in the daily. Let's, I just want to look at this daily chart. This daily chart is, is definitely, it definitely has you on edge, right? Here's the lower trend line. I think back here, we were discussing, you know, potential 30% move is in play because if we look at last cycle in the very similar structure, there was like a 30% move somewhere in here at the very similar time, meaning the Bitcoin bull market doors were broken. Bitcoin's breaking all time high around that area. And there was a really big consolidation back then, right? To the 20 week moving average even. And if we look at this, if we look at this cycle now, check out what has happened. There's our 20 week moving average. There's the big dip. So we're getting a very similar move in that regard. But if we go to the chart now, ADA is very much testing, right? So now what I, and this is all I can do. What I am doing is I am tracking the, the technicals of it, right? And so first, let me talk about downside. And then I want to show you just like the, maybe the too good to be true scenario. That would be amazing if it happened. I'll show you what that bullish scenario might look like. But let's just first look at, you know, the bearish scenario. I think, Right off the bat for me, anytime we have structure, anytime we have a breakout to the upside or to the downside, we're always looking for throwbacks to the structure or pullbacks to the structure, right? So for right now, I, I see the 200-day moving average very clearly uh, below ADA. So if, if we don't get the bullish scenario, which I'm about to play out for you right here and get a bounce to the upside, I think generally this is an, a, a good area just to anticipate. The upper 40s for ADA, and this would be an environment where Crypto is likely falling as well, but we would analyze and wait to see what happens at, at that 200-day moving average, wherever ADA makes its move to that, right? Will there be a bounce? And finally, will we get a retest of the slower trend line? And then what happens there, right? Because at that, at that move, we'd be, we'd be asking a question, is there going to be resistance to go lower? I don't like drawing this on the chart. I was hoping we never even had to really get here to actually start talking about it. But we have to talk about it. It is what it is, reality. It's data on the screen presenting itself to us. So this is an environment where crypto is just dipping, right? And and we have to track Cardano in this move. Now, with that being said, we get moves to the downside all of the time like this, and then there is a bounce. So let me show you the 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 better case scenario. And and I say it's almost too good to be true because it, it, it just is too, it's almost too perfect looking. There is such a similarity to this swing high at the upper trend line down here to the swing low. Such a similarity to this entire move back here. This entire swing high and then down to this swing low. And and just if you if you just look at this, the 20-day and the 50-day, right? So here's ADA falling below the 20. 
and the 50, popping back into the 20, and then going lower because of resistance. Here's ADA falling below the 20, and we've talked about this. Falling below the 20, hitting this bottom area, pulling up into the 20, seeing resistance, and going lower. That's, we're, we're in an almost exact similar move right now. If we take out our bars pattern and we just say, you know what, from this swing high to this swing high, can we get a repeat of that move? Because if this happens, this is such a good looking scenario. And that's why I say, I'm not sitting here predicting that's going to happen, but it just looks so good. Watch this swing high. If the move, if the move really in the pattern kind of repeats swing high to this swing high, right? So now let's take that swing high to right here. Look at that similarity. It's insane. So basically, ADA is in this kind of second swing low right now, right? So it could even go a little bit lower, 52 cents or so, just above the 200. Maybe, maybe, that's, where, maybe that's where the 200 kind of pulls into ADA, right? 52 cents. But you'll notice the RSI will have really cooled down. It's already cooled down, putting in kind of a double bottom on the momentum oscillator. Very similar to what happened back here, a double bottom double bottom, right? And then a bounce. So if we get the bounce, look how good the bounce looks though. Let me draw your attention to the ADA price. It's like a fake out, right? A fake out to the downside, pulling back into the pattern itself, all right around having. And then not only that, making its way back into the upper end of the rising pattern. This would just be such a nice looking entry into Cardano's bull market. That's why I say it's almost too good to be true because it's just, it's just, it looks like art on the screen if this played out like this. Because notice, upper end of the, of the wedge by that moment is around 90 cents. And that's before ADA breaks the upper trend line, right? And then, and then by that moment, this target also moves up. If, if this is what happened, the target is above $1.50 at this, at this time after post having, right? And now we're getting into a very similar time frame of saying, you know, last time ADA broke out in the bull market was post having, post having. Now you're kind of getting a, a similar sense of ADA is making its breakout, just waiting until post having to do it, right? And that's the scenario. So there's so many scenarios in play, but as you can see, whether it's whether it's that scenario, and sorry, I just lost my screen, of course. Whether it's that scenario or if it's the downside scenario, right? It is falling, testing the 200. Maybe it's, in, maybe it's falling. Let's just say worst case scenario, it's falling all the way back down to its target. Crypto's at this point just completely capitulating for some type of reason, right? Who knows what it could be, but no matter what it is, even for me, as I sit here, I'm just kind of like, you know what? This is a macro game. They're zoomed out on the daily. You're zoomed out on the weekly. And I'm just, I'm just in it for the macro right now. I'm, I'm really curious to see what happens going into having with, with Bitcoin price with truly all the narratives that are within crypto space in general. And I'm just going to be tracking price uh, along, along the journey, right? That's pre-Bitcoin halving, which is where we are now, and it's post-Bitcoin halving. So time will tell. I'm anticipating every scenario. I know what would be really phenomenal if it happened. Many of you probably would agree, but only time will tell. None of us know what's going to happen. So please be prepared out there, everybody. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Please hit the subscribe, hit the like. I will see you in the next video. Have an awesome day. God bless.